Trending on Twitter right now, Leafy. Why is Leafy trending on Twitter? The last thing Leafy said on Twitter was, PewDiePie is racist. What does that mean? What's he talking about? But then Slasher, the esports consultant, he says, Leafy's YouTube account has been terminated due to multiple or severe violations of YouTube's policies prohibiting content designed to harass, bully, or threaten. That's weird. Because Leafy's always on the trending page. Close friend of Leafy, Keemstar, says, I was on the phone with Leafy for 30 minutes before he got suspended by YouTube. Unfortunately, he was going to bed, so we don't know anything for at least 8 hours. Retweet if you know who did it. What do you mean? Have you seen Leafy's content? I'm in my bedroom right now. I just went on Twitter and I saw this and I thought I would... You know what? Let's switch to the proper setup, shall we? Okay. Dixie D'Amelio, I have some tea. Looks like Leafy's YouTube channel has been suspended from YouTube. And I bet Pokimane's tier 3 subs are celebrating as we speak. But whoa, whoa, before you guys get all crazy, Pokimane did say this. I know I'm gonna get asked this, so I'd like to clarify I had nothing to do with Leafy's ban. Okay, why would Pokimane even say this? Oh, you don't know? Well, Leafy has made... 10 videos about Pokimane in the last two weeks. To be fair, out of the 10 videos, only two of them were actually criticizing Pokimane. The rest, he was talking about life, and but he just used Pokimane in the thumbnail. She isn't gonna f you, bro. Like, I don't know what else to say. But since Leafy has come back, he's been pretty critical about every single person he's talked about. He's talked about I'm Alex, he's talked about Pokimane. I completely forgot about Gabby Hanna. He had a couple videos about Gabby Hanna as well. Gabby Hanna is missing after mental breakdown. It's a little strange that as soon as Gabby Hanna comes back, Leafy's channel gets terminated. You guys are looking at Pokimane. Are you guys looking at Gabby Hanna? I don't I'm just saying. Let's go back a second. YouTube's harassment and cyberbullying policies. True or false? If you make a video that encourages viewers to post cruel and malicious comments on another video, that could result in a strike on your channel. The answer is true. Oh, oh really? Content or behavior intended to harass, threaten, or bully others is not allowed on YouTube. You don't say YouTube. Content that features prolonged name calling or malicious insults based on their intrinsic attributes. Ethan Klein from H3H3 said, I would love to see Leafy try and exist in today's current landscape. He said this in his podcast months ago. You know, I, I would love, people saying, oh, Leafy, come back. I would love to see Leafy come back and try to exist in the landscape today. Like, the content that he was making would never fly on YouTube today. And you have to adapt and overcome the fact that, like, mm -hmm. you can't even curse, bro. Because of that statement, Leafy used that clip at the end of every single one of his videos, trying to basically prove him wrong. I, I would love people saying, oh, Leafy, come back. I would love to see Leafy come back and try to exist in the landscape today. Like, the content that he was making would never fly on YouTube today. And you have to adapt and overcome the fact that, like, I, I would love people saying, oh, Leafy, come back. I would love to see Leafy come back and try to exist in the landscape today. Like, I, I would love people saying, oh, Leafy, come back. I would love to see Leafy come back and try to exist in the landscape today. Like, like, I don't know. I'd like to see him try to make a comeback. Leafy 2020 versus Leafy back in 2016. He doesn't care anymore. He honestly doesn't care about YouTube that much. All the videos he was posting, it had less effort. He would kind of just stitch together different clips of other people's videos and maybe put a bit of commentary in there. And by commentary, I mean he would just put white writing on a black background for a split second. And the commentary that he did have, it was usually pretty critical of the subject. Doesn't even do anything, dude. Even if Pokimane wants to remove the video, it doesn't change the fact that you're a fucking loser. Like not all of his content was critical. Most of the time he would talk about investing in stocks and investing in bonds. Not a single one. Don't donate to any of them. Put your money into a Roth IRA. Buy large cap index funds. Put a little bit of money into bonds. I think he just made the wrong person upset and they decided to get his channel taken down ultimately. If, if it wasn't Pokimane, it was probably Pokimane's fans flagging his channel. If it wasn't Pokimane's fans, it was Gabby Hanna's fans because he made some critical statements about Gabby Hanna who had a mental breakdown recently. So many different options. But what are people saying about it? 
Scarce says, even if you weren't a fan of his videos, Leafy's termination is very, very concerning. Leafy being terminated now means any of us could be next. True, especially commentary channels. You're gonna have to make your friendly, friendly content again. Scythe, PewDiePie's editor, said, Top 10 Leafy bra moments. Video unavailable. This video is no longer available because the YouTube account associated with the video has been terminated. People are just clowning on him, basically. Most, well, some people are like, how I'll sleep tonight knowing that Leafy got banned for being an incel and only using his platform for harassment. Seems like one of the only people that w is really upset about it is Keemstar. As far as I know, at the time of Leafy getting terminated, he had zero community guideline strikes. A few months ago, he had a few strikes, but those were reversed. So he either got three strikes all at once, or you know who called Susan with a tactical drone strike. I guess he's talking about H3H3. In my last video, I actually said I was gonna make a video about Leafy, and but I didn't want to because what's the point? There's really no point. I stopped myself. He's n his content hasn't gotten any better. It's actually gotten worse. It's gotten at, le cancer, at least before he had commentary. Now he just clips together other. P you know what? I'm not, I'm not even gonna talk about it. I really don't have much to say about it. This channel got banned. Hey, if you really want to watch Leafy, go on Storyfire. He started a Storyfire account. Has no content yet. He subscribed to one person. Who's he, su he subscribed to Storyfire? <laughs> but I guess he's going to stop posting content on there. Who knows? Well, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm posting a vlog. Leave me a comment down below and be sure to tune in next time. Peace. Leafy, come back. I would love to see Leafy come back and try to exist in the landscape today. Like... The content that he was making would never fly on YouTube today. And you have to adapt and overcome the fact that, like, you can't even curse, bro.